Well, you remember in May this year, I reported about the attack on the UPDF camp in Somalia by the Al-Shabaab militants and uh, 54 UPDF soldiers were put out of action according to the government of Uganda. But the Al-Shabaab militants reported 137 UPDF soldiers uh, were killed. Yes, 137 UPDF soldiers were killed according to the Al-Shabaab militants. Others were injured seriously and others captured. Well, after the attack, President Museveni took to his social media platforms and uh, said that uh, some UPDF commanders panicked, which led to the death of uh, many soldiers and uh, destroying of uh, UPDF equipment. I just want us to have a look at uh, part of uh, President Museveni's statement on his social media platforms. He said uh, some of the soldiers there did not perform as expected and panicked, which disorganized them and uh, the Al-Shabaab took advantage of that to overrun the base and destroy some of the equipment. That was part of uh, President Museveni's statement on his social media platforms after the attack on the UPDF camp in Somalia. Now, uh, the latest update coming in from uh, the UPDF camp has indicated that uh, two UPDF commanders have been dismissed from the force for encouraging their juniors to run away from the Al-Shabaab militants during that attack. Yes, two UPDF commanders have been dismissed from uh, UPDF for encouraging their juniors to run away from the Al-Shabaab militants. They have been identified as Major John Stephen Oluka, 58 years, and uh, Major Zadok Abor, 49 years. Yes, that is the latest update coming in from uh, the UPDF camp. These two UPDF commanders have been dismissed from uh, the UPDF for encouraging their juniors to run away from the Al-Shabaab militants during the attack on the UPDF camp in May this year right there in Somalia. But the question right here is, what do you think about the dismissal of these two UPDF commanders? Do you think what Court Marshall has done is good or bad? The comment section is very open for you. But as you put your comments down there, I just want us to have a look at uh, some comments from Ugandans on social media so that we can have a picture of what a big section of Ugandans are saying on different social media platforms. Well, this is Abima Abel. Why didn't they go and command themselves as court officials? Sorry. Okay. So you wanted them to die? Better dismiss them, but when they are alive... Let them go and stay with their families. Patrick, do you think they are going home? Of course, they are going to serve a punishment. They have been dismissed and of course, there is a punishment that comes with that. Okay, Simon or Rom. Okay, it is good for the government to hear its soldiers dying in war. Those commanders were right to serve their lives. Jail is not death. Don't mind, dear commanders. You will come out and start new life rather than die forever. Uh, Emagoro John, it is okay as long as I'm still alive, I can survive. It is not the end of someone's life. That is uh, Emagoro John. Ruth Anderson, but why Northerners' names at fronts? Anyway, you guys, we are proud of you. Dismissal, not a problem. Come home. Okay, let me wind up with uh, a chain jackie. At least a dismissal. To me, if I were them, I would not even regret that attack was not symbol. Well, there you go. Uh, those are some comments coming in from uh, Ugandans on uh, social media. And uh, you can also head that side and you see what others are saying. But uh, the comment section is also opened for you right here. But most importantly, don't forget to subscribe in case you haven't. And also tap on the bell for all the notifications. And uh, follow me on TikTok. I'm Melads Milo, aka Fula. It is a bye for now. Thank you.